In today's video, I'll be creating our first enemy to disrupt our plunderous journey, along with the ships now having to be treated with much more care, with more dangers entering our ever-expanding sea. Let's see how the players can keep up. Welcome to Episode 4 of Seas of Treachery in Roblox. In the last episode, I got the ship finally working, with the helm to turn the ship and sail adjusters on the side for speed. Even better, I got the cannon scripted and firing. But the cannons didn't do anything yet, so that's what I'll be fixing first. But in order to start doing that, I needed to make the ship sinkable. So to do that, I gave the ship a health value and these holes which will take health away from it. So first we just need to blow a few holes into here. And then over time, the ship will sink. Although it's not able to fully sink yet, but we'll get there. After a good bit of scripting, here's the result. I wonder what cool effect he added to put into there, you know, I, I bet the ship would be pretty cool if it just did like some fadeaway feature. Wow, that looks amazing. Now that there was a way for water to get onto the ship, I then needed a way to get it off. Doing a little blender magic, I created this. In this little work in progress clip of the bucket, it shows how the bucket works when being emptied. I forgot to show off how the fixing of the holes work earlier, so here's that. And then here's how the bucket works. Just to make the fixing of the ships look a little better, I made those prompts custom too. And finally, after all this time, I was able to put the cannons onto the ship. Taking a break from everything else, I started working on the enemy, beginning with him randomly moving around. Then I made it so the skeleton could chase the player, and when the player gets too close, he'll attack. After a bunch of basically just messing around, I have a system where the skeleton won't attack until the player gets too close, like before, but now the player will get a very small window to evade the attack, making it a bit more strategic. Then I gave him his animations, and made it so he can go back to roaming if the player dies, or if the player runs far enough away. And lastly, I added an ammo limit for the pistol, along with a nice looking GUI for it. I do have one or two announcements when it comes to the game. Firstly being its official new name, Seas of Treachery. And secondly, with the creation of the Seas of Treachery Discord, where I'll be giving more in-depth updates on what's being added, special sneak peeks before videos come out, and just generally keeping more updated when it comes to the game in general. I really do try and get longer videos with more in them, but I hate not uploading for more than 4-5 to five days. And with how long it takes to even get these even remotely working, it's not easy to make these entertaining for you guys. But anyway, that's all for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below if you want anything added to the game. That's all for me today, I'll see you guys later.